Hello, I'm Ghosty Tuna, streamer and creator of the Stream Ticker, a Streamlabs OBS app that allows you to show various information like your latest followers, your latest subs, and many more, while regaining re real estate for your stream. I'm going to cover quite a few topics in this video, so I'm going to put timestamps in the comments below for specific parts of the video, should you want to skip around. Let's start with a bit of history. I made this app as a Chrome extension originally for myself, but now that I've partnered with Streamlabs, I'm able to offer this functionality to you. We've released a version that was very close to the original app, with great success. But thanks to feedback, we took on board that you wanted to make it a bit more modular and a bit more flexible. So that's what the 2.0 version now has. Let's start with getting onto the new features. The main feature of 2.0 was making the animation modular. So you can now choose the items, the order of the items, and how they're displayed on stream. You can do this in a variety of ways. This is the new Add Item button. Clicking it shows the new Add Item UI. There's a current limitation of 5 items, but we're looking to remove that in the future. There are a few things that we need to calculate, and some other display settings that we need to work on. So here you get to choose your label type. Right here we're just going to add a new follower. You get to choose your headline text, which appears in the yellow line there. Some items also can support sessions. So if you use Streamlabs sessions, you can set a default value to appear at the, be at the beginning of those sessions. Like other stream labels, you also have access to tokens. These will let you put values or little, little excerpts of formatted text into your headline content. Once that's complete, hit Add Item, and there you go. To edit an item, hit the little edit button. This allows you to then change the label type, change the content, enable or disable the session, or change the image. Remember just hit update item, and there you go. You can reorder the items very simply by just hitting the arrow buttons. And finally, you can delete items. Say I wasn't actually quite happy with this follow up, this extra on follow button, let's get rid of it. You get a little warning if you want to remove the item, and boom, it's gone. One of the newer features is the presets. This will allow you to pick from a range of preset list of layouts, allowing you to get up and running quickly and then building upon them. You can preview these presets in the side paddle. We even added more presets in this release. Selecting a preset will update your layout and you're ready to go. As you can see, here's a little preview of the rounded one. Oh, cancel. And then we've got Pride. This is also one of the new ones. If there is a specific style you're looking for, let us know, and we can look at adding something in that style in the future. I will be hosting the original images in the Discord channel. There's a link in the description below. Other features include selecting the font, now with an extra 200 fonts to choose from, outline width, colours of all the elements, all with their own RGB pickers. Also, a new feature that allows you to turn off the, the colour blending. One of the neat features that's kind of hidden, if you hover over the animations you can see a little preview. Thank you for watching this video, hopefully it's got you up to speed with what the stream ticker can offer you. If you've got any feedback, let us know on the Twitters, on here, on YouTube, or on the Discord. Links all in the description below. On the Discord, we've got access to tech support channels, preset images, and new features that are in development. Thank you all for your time. Kiss.